What's good, y'all? Shagama Kyle. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, and every subscriber helps. Over here on this channel, we make daily NBA content. So if you enjoy the NBA as much as I do, please subscribe. And today we're going to be talking about how the Washington Wizards are just, you know, have been horrible to start the season off. They're 2 and 8. They lost earlier today. And they just have been flat out awful on defense. And, you know. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like, you know, Russell Westbrook is not, you know, he doesn't have some sort of share in his blame. But for the guys who are trying to make it, you know, all fall on Russell Westbrook is just idiotic to me because he's averaging 19 points. He's averaging uh, eight rebounds, 10 assists, you know, normal Russell Westbrook stuff. But the catch about that is 37% from the field and 30% from three. Now, Russ has never been an efficient guy, but you can't shoot 37%, you know, as the second star on the team and just expect, you know, things to go well and you know free Bradley Bill man like not actually you know free him like don't trade him or like Bradley Bill was he going through it man because he drives in 35 points on 50 percent shooting from the field like do y'all know how crazy it is to average 50 percent shooting when you take as much shots as, as Bradley Bill does and look he's 30 he's 39 percent from three so Bradley Bill is giving you an efficient 35 points a night and you know that's that 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 point the game is probably, you know, inflated because of, you know, the 60-point game and the 40-point game he just had. But there's no reason that Bradley Bill should, have, should still be having to go through this. The whole reason you trade for Russell Westbrook is to get him, you know, get Bradley Bill the second star. So, you know, he can, Bradley Bill can do his job. His job is to score. He's done his job, you know, terrifically. It's everybody else. Russell Westbrook is not efficient, you know. Denny Abdiah, he's been, you know, he's played well, but... He's a rookie, so you can't really put, you know, a lot of pressure on him. Thomas Bryant, he's he's played a high, but it's nothing too crazy over there. Rui came back, you know, he's played, you know, way better than I thought he would, but still, you need more. But th that's the thing, though. This offense isn't a problem. The offense at times looked great. They're hanging, you know, 120 on folks, you know, 110. It's really the defense that's really a huge, huge issue. And, you know, signing Russell Westbrook didn't fix any of that. Drafting Denny didn't fix any of that. They were a bad defensive team last year. They're a bad defensive team this year. And honestly, I just don't know how they're going to fix it. They're really going to have to, you know, scour the free agency market. They're going to have to scour, you know, the at, at the trade deadline, you know, they're going to have to scour, you know, free agents around that time because they need a defensive stopper in, a, you know, in the lineup. There's no way they can, you know, go to the playoffs playing Russell Westbrook, Bradley Bill, uh, Thomas Bryant, Robert Lopez, uh, Denny Avdia, like that, that starting five is not good enough defensively to really hang with some of the elite teams. And you know what I'm saying? Bradley Bill must be going through a lot right now because to average that many points and they still just garbage is crazy. And you know, like I said earlier, it's not all Russell Westbrook's fault, but he does share some of the blame because there are, there's a couple moments where he's still, you know, doing the same old rough stuff. Like at the end of that Philadelphia 76ers game, He's taking shots he does not need to be taking. He's throwing passes that he does not need to be throwing. Like, there was a play in the end, at the end of the 76ers game when Bradley Bill cut from the corner wide open. Now, between me and you, comment, you know, put it in the comment section below. Is Bradley Bill an explosive dunker? Yes or no? The answer would be no. So why is Russell Westbrook throwing Bradley Bill an a alley or over backdoor cut? It doesn't make any kind of sense. It's plays like that where Russell Westbrook is just that's where a lot of scrutiny comes from. The IQ sometimes is just not there. And he just needs to be better, and especially in moments like that. But Russell Westbrook hasn't really just been amazing this year. Of course, he's close to averaging a triple-double, but, you know, it's more of the same stuff. The triple-doubles aren't leading to winning, and it's just causing a lot of pain in Washington right now. So, you know, early, I made a video earlier this season when they started off on four. And then when they started, you know, when they won a game, I'm like, okay, so now we see what can really happen. But now that they're two and eight, and they've won 20% of the games they played. I just don't know what to say. I'm officially hitting the panic button. And I'm really, really nervous about whether they can make the playoffs or not. I still think they'll make the playoffs. But if this continues at this rate, there's no there's no chance they're going to the playoffs. But, you know, they're just going to need to really get a, a better defensive guy in there. Because currently constructed, I don't think there's anything Scott Brooks can do to, you know, mend the defensive issues. Maybe not play, you know, three guards at a time. On a team that's already bad defensively, maybe don't play Raul Neto or Russell Westbrook, you know, in the same lineup. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do stuff like that. That's the best he can do. And Scott Brooks has not done that. 
But yeah, man, uh, let me know what you think about the Wizards in the comments below. And if you stay tuned in this video, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.